हेलो आई एम मिसिज मंजू शर्मा एंड टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट आर सेकेंड चैप्टर इन सिविक्स ऑफ क्लास एट्थ अंडरस्टैंडिंग सेकुलरिज्म चिल्ड्रन इन द लास्ट चैप्टर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द फ्यूचर्स ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ड्यू टू इट्स मल्टी एथेनिक मल्टी कल्चरल एंड मल्टी रेशियल सोसाइटी इट वॉज एसेंशियल टू फॉलो अ पाथ ऑफ सेकुलरिज्म सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी शैल स्टडी अबाउट सेकुलरिज्म फर्स्ट वी विल लर्न अबाउट वट इज सेकुलरिज्म एवर सिंस ह्यूमन कंजी द कंसेप्ट ऑफ कॉम्युनिटी लिविंग दे ऑल्सो डिवाइज रूल्स ऑफ लिविंग इन द कॉम्युनिटी दीज रूल्स दैन नीडिड टू बी एडमिनिस्ट्रेटेड एंड मेम्बर्स ऑफ द कम्युनिटी हैड टू बी कंट्रोल्ड एंड गवर्नड thus it started the system of governance gradually the communities grew larger and turned into township cities and states there are so many religions faith beliefs and followers so in system one which follows a political and constitutional principles which allows people of all faiths and religions to live with equal rights which is called secularism so in this chapter we shall study about the various factors of secularism first of all we will understand what is secularism and the origin of secularism the word secularism was first used by the british writer george jacob holyac in 1851 although the term was new the general notions of free thoughts on which it was based had existed through history all individual individuals have the freedom to live by their religious belief, beliefs and practices as they interpret these any well governed state should allow its citizens to live happily and in harmony with each other and now we will learn about the positive ideals in the secular society first in this secular society deep respect for individuals and the small groups of which they are a part equality of all people each person should be helped to realize their potential breaking down the barriers of class and caste now why is secularism is necessary the majority could cause discrimination coercion and at times even the killing of religious minorities or prevent minorities from practicing their religions any part of religious domination will go against the basic right of citizens this tells us why secularism gain importance especially in a democratic society and state like india so we have uh, follow the path of secularism in india india has had a history of various rulers and invasions in the past these have led to india having people with varied religious beliefs and faiths uh, it's a indian contest secularism adopts the following features it implies equal respects of all religions it also means that indian does not have an official state religion all citizen irrespective of their religious belief are equal in the eye of law the indian state is not ruled by any religious group in india government establishment are not supposed to promote any religion and people are free to practice preach and propagate religions of one choice in india secularism is very popular and continuously adopted now we will compare secularism in india and usa first we see about secularism in india there is much difference in the interpretation of secularism in india as compared to some other countries indian form a secularism in uh, secularism in different form that of some other countries like usa in united state of america the first amendment of the usa constitution prohibits the legislature from making laws respecting an establishment of religion or that prohibit the free exercise of religion use of the term establishment means that no religion can be declared as the official religion thus there can not be any interference by the state in the affairs of religious bodies or vice versa and in india the state does intervene in religious matters and imposes laws for the over, uh, all over improvement of society to understand this better let us take the example of the old custom of dowry sati and untouchability practiced by some hindus the government has initiated laws to ban these age old customs which were turning into a social menace 
the model of secularism adopted by india in this more tolerant towards the teachings of the various religions thus ensuring no one whether in majority or minority community feels threatened by the state with regard to his faith and belief so secular uh, country is very popular and give a path of progress and harmony all over the world thanks students have a nice day